Hello everyone, welcome to Power App Tutorial. Today, in this video, you will learn about how you can create table in Dataverse. Hi, this is Kripali from Know How Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn why there is a need to create table in Dataverse. Second, how you can create table in Dataverse. Third, how you can insert data in newly created Dataverse table. And fourth, you will learn how you can update or delete information which is there in Dataverse table. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you why you should create table in Dataverse, although several ready-made tables are there in Dataverse. So let me explain you with the scenario. Imagine you are working in one big hotel where several rooms are there. So what is your job function in this hotel? In this hotel, you need to maintain the guest list, those who are coming and those who are using the hotel rooms. And also you need to maintain the details of which different types of rooms are there. So if you go to your Dataverse table list, here in this available table, you will not find any table which is related to hotel. So how will you manage this information? So to manage this information, you what you will do? You will make your own table in Dataverse. So for that, you need to make your own tables. So now you get an idea that why you need to make your own table in Dataverse. Second thing, let me tell you how you can create your own table in Dataverse. So let me explain you with the practical implementation. So first of all, you need to go to the new table and here you need to click on create new tables. Basically, you can create new table in Dataverse using three methods. First is create a new data table, second set advanced property of the table and create a virtual table. But right now we are creating new table from the first option. So click on first option and here you will get the screen. First of all, they are asking uh, how you want to create your table. So start with the co-pilot, second option is start with the SharePoint list, third option is uh, from whatever data is there in your Excel or CSV file, you can directly import that. And the fourth option is start from the blank. In this video, I will show you that how you can create table from the blank. So I'm selecting this option, start from blank. Now here it is saying this, let's set up your data. So you need to click on got it. And here also when you are creating your tables, they are giving facility to create your table using Copilot, but I will show you how you can create table using Copilot in next video. Uh, here in this video, I will show you how manually you can create table. So let me close this Copilot window and here just click on that and go to the properties of the table and here give a name of a table. Here you want to create a table which will take care of the hotel guest. So for that, I'm giving a table name as GUEST guest table or generally uh, we are giving a TBL prefix when we are creating table. So TBL underscore guest table. Now this is a plural name of a uh, table. So it is used for display purpose only sometime. And here, this is the text box where you can write short description of the table. If you want to write, you can use you can write, otherwise you can skip it. You can click on the advanced option to see the schema name. So generally in Dataverse, two types of table name you can see. The first name is a display name where user will see that name. And the second name that is considered it as a schema name, which is used for coding purpose in Power App or in other Power Platform technologies. So I'm uh, you can see that there is no much more difference in that but you can also edit the schema name and click on save. So here table is created. You can see the name of the table and here this is the icon of the table. Now inside the table you need to make the columns. So basically what is column in Dataverse? Column in Dataverse is considered as a different field or you can say the attributes of a guest. 
so guests have that name their email id their contact number and so many information so here we are creating several columns which will keep the information of hotel guest like email id contact number full name or address or you can say sometime id information when you are creating column in dataverse it is mandatory that minimum one column you need to create so here you can see that new column click on that and go to the edit column and here you can give the column name so like right now i want to give a column name as a email id so generally each hotel guest will be uh, uniquely identified by their email id so here i will write email and which type of data type you want to give so single line of text number or whatever so generally i want to give single line of text so i am keeping as it is now which type of format you want you want as a email format whether you want form phone number format text text area so i'm selecting email format now here it is saying that primary column cannot be different data type select different primary column for your table before changing the data type of this column this is saying that uh, this primary column cannot be a same data type so if you are taking any other column which has a same format then it will not acceptable so i will not uh, change it in future so let it be keep it as it is and click on update so now this column is mandatory for that now let's say you want to add more columns in that given table so you can click click here on new columns and give a display name of a new column let's say uh, full name full name and here you want to give it as a text then format you want to give as a text text area but generally i'm keeping it text now here it is saying that is required sometimes what happen when you are creating columns in dataverse all the information of the guest may not be mandatory so you can keep it as of if it is not required but generally we require guest full name okay so i'm clicking this and if you click on advanced option you can see the schema name so click on save so here second column is added and whichever column is mandatory you can see the red asterisk sign after the column name here email is also mandatory since we are creating this column as a primary column keep this thing in mind that what is the meaning of red asterisk sign after the column name then i want to add the contact number of the guest so let me again click on new column and here this time i am writing contact number contact number column and this time i am selecting text because generally plus 1 uh, plus uh, is indication of plus so generally plus and the uh, country code it is indicating the from which country the guest belong so i will select the text and i am not keeping this is a required field and keep on save so here you can see that after contact number column red asterisk sign is not there which is indicating that this column is not required now you can set the different properties of the table like what can be the name of the table you can change the table name you can set the advanced property or what can be the primary column so let's say here three columns are there you want to set another column as a primary column so you can set it but right now i want to keep email id as a primary column and i am keeping as it is and you can see the schema name and click on save if you want to convert it into a full screen it will come like that if you want to minimize it will come like that so here you can see that now here you can uh, establish a relationship between the two tables but right now first you you should learn how you can create new table so this way you can set up your table in dataverse now let me tell you the third thing how you can insert data in your dataverse table so for that you can directly click here and you can add the information inside that or you can click on new row so here new row will be added and then you can add the information so now first of all let me click that and write my email id uh, so i'm writing just dummy email id that abc@gmail.com then what can be the full name let's say krupali then what can be the contact number so let me write a dummy contact number here and then let me add the another information let's say xyz at the rate yahoo.com then let me give a name as a 
जैनम and then let me give as a name any let me contact number i am giving so this way you can enter the information in the table now after entering the information you need to click on save and exit so your table will be created and whatever data you have inserted it will be saved in the table within a fraction of time so your table is created now where you can find your table so you can go to the custom and here in search section you can search the table name let's say tbl test and hit enter so here you will able to see if you double click it the table will be open and you can see that whatever data you have inserted here you can see that from here also you can add new column as well as new data now here it is see uh, it is showing the table properties what are the properties of the table when it is modified when it is created what are the tools you can use or what are the scope schema name logical name whatever you want to do you can see that you can click on properties and from here also you can change the properties of that okay now here if you click on advanced option other option you can see that apply duplicate the uh, detection rule then audit change to its data or whatever you want to see you can create that now as i told you in my in my previous lecture that dataverse will create some of the column automatically so that we, it can provide security to the data it will also tell the who is the owner of the table and when it is last modified so these are the column which is automatically created by dataverse you can click on this column and here you can see that when it is created when it is modified what is the sequence number who is the honor of that what who is the team of that honor every information is maintained in that table so if let me select that if i click on created by you will see that who created that table so automatically the user name will come goes who created that table so this way you can create table in your dataverse let me tell you the fourth thing that how you can update or delete records inside dataverse table so let me show you what you can do you can click on the edit now let's say you want to change the uh, full name of that person now here this is not editable keep it in mind whatever column which is created by the dataverse that you cannot edit it why because dataverse maintain its information by its own for future security purpose and extra things so here you can change the column name let's say okay you can see that okay so i you can create that and here if you just press tab key automatically it will be it will save let's say you want to insert one new row before this selected row you can click on that if you want to insert new row after that selection you can click on that or you, if you want to edit row using forms you can click that so one new form will be open and here you can edit your information now let's say if you want to delete data so what you can do you can select that and you can click on delete row if you want to select only one row you can select that row and records will be deleted from the dataverse table so this way you can update or delete data from the dataverse table now let me tell you it is a very simple thing rather than writing queries in your sql doesn't it so i hope you get an idea before ending this video let me tell you how, what you have learned from this video why you should create new table in dataverse second you learn how to set up your dataverse table third you learn how to insert data in dataverse table and fourth thing you learn how you can update or delete information from the dataverse table Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.